In Evansville, residents in the Bellmead Bayard Park neighborhood continue to voice concerns over a controversial ordinance about sober living homes. Tonight, the Evansville City Council denied new opportunities for wellness counseling's request to rezone its sober living home on Powell Avenue. It would have made room to house more residents. Eyewitness Suzanne Powell has reaction from both sides tonight. And a 7-1 to one vote, now counseling's request to rezone two of its houses comes to a screeching halt. We are not trying to get rid of recovery residences in residential neighborhoods. That has not ever been our purpose. It's simply been the density of population that was being put in in the single family residences. It's been a long road, a lot of research, a lot of time that we've put in through this or for this with our neighborhood association task force. Shauna Jarbo and Andy Bullock live near the sober living homes. One is on Powell and the other is on Blackford facing Kentucky Avenue and say they are pleased with the council's decision. They say their main concerns were surveillance of those living in the homes and how many people reside there. For one thing, they own autos, so you have a flooding of the street and there's no parking. Uh, other situations like that, that it just disrupts the whole neighborhood. A sober living home is a rehab house that help people recover from substance abuse and get back on their feet, which both Jarbo and Bullock say is a good thing if it is done right. It needs to be done right to help these people also. The only council member who voted yes was Zach Hieronymus, who is also the executive director of Aura Evansville. While working with the homeless and those struggling with addiction, he says he sees the need for sober living homes. That everybody needs a second chance. Um, and, I, and I mean that at my core. Um, and I think when we wrap around and we open our arms to people, no matter what their backgrounds are, that's when we can see the best out of our community and the best change uh, and impact on people's lives. You know, we can continue to help people without the, the vote, so we're, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna continue doing the important work. Jordan Milby owns now counseling and says being denied to rezone the properties may actually be a good thing. It's, it's, it's great. I think it's a good thing, really, because they have uh, they've identified a void in their policy. So they're going to work on, uh, you know, filling that void and, and making sure that people are able to do things the right way, which which I fully support. We just need to figure out what that looks like um, for the sake of our neighborhoods and for the sake of our community. The council hopes to discuss the need for sober living homes further with other city officials in Evansville and Powell Eyewitness News.